Congratulations on assembling and filling your new tower garden. Now you're ready to grow. So let me show you the most successful way to prepare and plant seedlings in your tower garden. First, take the seed starter tray provided with your tower garden growing system and thoroughly wet the rock wool starter cubes. If possible, use filtered water or bottled drinking water without chlorine. Let them soak for 30 minutes. Next, you're ready to add your seeds into the seed holes in the rock wool starter cubes, per instructions on your seed packet. After you've added your seeds, lightly fill each seed hole with the vermiculite included in your tower garden growing system. For smaller seeds, like lettuce, only fill the hole half full with vermiculite. This will keep just enough moisture around the seed for good germination. It may be helpful to label the rock wool so you know where each seedling is growing. Now, gently sprinkle a little water over each hole to wet the vermiculite. When you've finished, add a little water in the bottom of the container for extra humidity. Do not close the lid. If it's a warmer time of year, place your seeding tray outside in a semi-shaded area. If it's a colder time of year, place your seeding tray inside by a sunny window. Each morning, be sure there is about one quarter inch of fresh water in the bottom of the tray. After your seeds have sprouted through the vermiculite, immediately move them to a full sun area outside once all danger of frost has passed. You can add the diluted tower tonic solution from your nutrient reservoir every other morning to the seed tray in place of fresh water. Once your seedlings are approximately three inches tall, they should be healthy seedlings with a good root system growing from your rock wool cubes. At this point, your seedlings are ready for transplanting in your tower garden. Place one seedling cube inside each net pot on the tower garden. Gently press the seedling cube until it touches the base of the net pot. Otherwise, the seedlings will not get watered. If you don't have time to start your own seedlings, it's possible to use seedlings purchased from a local garden center. You should consider that you may run the risk of introducing plant diseases or insect pests into your aeroponic tower garden taking this approach. Purchase the smaller plugs. Look for the nine cell pack. If you place the plug directly into the net pots, the soil will wash out and clog the pump. So it's important to remove the plug from the tray and gently wash off the roots, massaging away the soil. Be careful not to damage the roots. Soak your rock wool cubes in filtered or bottled water and cut them in half. Lay out the two halves and gently place the root system on one half of the rock wool cube. Then place the other half of the rock wool cube over the roots to create a sandwich of rock wool around the root system. Use a rubber band or small hair band to hold the rock wool cube together. Insert the new transplant into the tower garden net pot at each planting port. Be sure to push down the rock wool so it touches the bottom of the net pot. This will ensure that the new transplant receives water inside the tower garden. Congratulations! Your tower garden is now operational and ready to grow.